Welcome back friends. In this lesson we will continue to edit our videos using Photoshop. Now in the last lesson we brought in these two videos onto our timeline. We have them in the same video group. I will first delete this adjustment layer. Click and trash it. Now suppose we are creating this video for any portfolio or something like that and we need to add some text to it. We want our video to start with a text and not with this fireball. So let's delay this video. But first let's create our text file. I'll hide these two layers and concentrate on the text. Let's grab the type tool, make a box in the middle and start typing. I'll type say welcome. Let's move it a bit. Set this color to a lighter gray. Now we can see that our type layer is on top of this fireball layer. What we will do is set this type layer to fade in, stay for a moment and then the fireball will appear on top of it. Let's drag it below the fireball. But here they are all on the same track and we need to place the text layer on another track. Let's do that. Grab this layer and drag it out of the group. You can see that a new track has been created for it with the name welcome because that's what we typed on it. Now without any videos visible the canvas shows a transparency grid which makes it difficult to read the text. Let's create a new layer below the text layer by control clicking on this new layer tab. It has created a layer just below the welcome layer but in the timeline it has created it at the beginning of this playhead. We do not want that. Control Z. We will bring this playhead at the beginning and now control click. We got this layer. Let's name it. Say black screen 1. Let's fill it with our foreground color that is black. Alt backspace. Now our text layer is visible. Let's play it how it looks. It's static. Let's add a fade to our type layer. Select the type layer. Go to fade. I'll keep the duration to one second and drag it at the beginning. Now if we play it comes on the screen very smoothly but I don't want it to fade in immediately at the start. Maybe I want it to fade in at 12 frames or at 1 second. Let's right click on this playhead and go to time. Now these are the frames, these are the seconds, these are the minutes and th this is the hour. I will type in 1 second. Ok. Our playhead has moved to 1 second. Let's drag it and snap it to the playhead. Now there is a slight pause before the text fades in. Nice. Let's now set our video tracks. Let's first drag this falling nuts a bit. We will set it a bit later. Let's make the videos visible first. Now we need to adjust this fireball video. Right click on the playhead. Go to time. Let's go to 3 seconds. Ok. And drag this fireball video and snap it. Here. Let's play it. looks good but here fireball covers our welcome layer. We want to see both. Here blend modes will help us. Go to the layers panel. Select the fireball video. Blend modes. Say lighten. There we are. Now we can see both the layers. The fireball as well as the welcome layer. Cool. But this transition is pretty abrupt. Now right click on this track. We can see that the duration is 10.41 seconds. We will shorten it. I want it till here. Right click. Go to time. Say 8 seconds. Ok. And now if we go to the end of this video, we get this cursor. You can just click and drag it to shorten it. 
I have shortened it but is that a solution we have clipped it quite a lot let's hit control Z snap this playhead to the end of this firewall video actually let's shorten it from here now it's okay let's extend our type layer like so now if we play we get our type throughout the video let's now add a fade to the fireball of say one second drop it on fireball but our black screen is just still here so we are again seeing a transparency grid here let's drag the black screen also looks good now now this text layer was there two seconds before our fireball video we will do the same at the end now our video is till 13 seconds we will add two seconds of this type after the fireball right click go to time and type in 15 seconds let's drag it let's drag the black screen as well let's add a one second fade out again let's see it that's looking pretty good now we will set the nuts video we will extend the black screen by half a second right click go to time now we need to type frames here since this is a 24 fps for half second we will type 12 frames ok extend the black screen and let's zoom out a bit drag and snap it let's play now cool now this nuts video already has a fade in so we don't need to add a fade in to this now I don't want this nuts video to be this long I want it to stop here let's go to time and type in 25 seconds ok we can trim this video here by clicking on this scissors we can see that it has trimmed this video into two videos in the layers panel also we have got two videos now now if we don't want this video just click on it and delete let me control Z I'll show you another method to trim it scrub your playhead where you want to split right click and split clip cool we can now click it and delete it again for a smooth transition we will add a fade go to fade and fade again we can see the transparency grid because of this fade what we can do is we can either drag it all the way out here but we want that black screen only at some places at the beginning at the time time of transition between these two clips and at the end let's duplicate our black screen select it hold alt and drag we have duplicated it let's name them I'll name it black screen 2 but what has Photoshop done it has created this black screen on another track let's drag it up so that we can see all the tracks I'll zoom out let's drag it to the end bring our pl playhead here and snap it shorten it like so but we have several tracks to manage now what we can do is just click it and drag it up to place it on the same track you can see that Photoshop has created another video group by the name of video group 2 and both our screens are in this group cool let's go to the beginning and play it will take a while
very nice we got this video where all these tracks have smooth transitions creating a nice video each video moves in and out quite softly I will save this video as lecture 74 begin file and in the next lesson we will see how to save it or how to take it out of Photoshop that's all for this lesson friends see you in the next lesson